Hello, my dear NEET warriors. Welcome to the one and only Unacademy NEET English channel. And this is your physics educator, Captain Shreyas. Looking at this title, many of you might be wondering, is this a joke? Is this just motivation? Am I really going to achieve such a high target? I'm getting such less marks. I am zero in physics. There are these students who have been studying for two years. They are students who are taking drop. How can I do this? Correct or no? You might be really thinking about this. Let me tell you that I'm not here for just motivation. I'm not here to give you unrealistic dreams. I am here to tell you facts. And the fact is that it is possible. And it has been done not just this year, but even previous year and the year before that. Many of my students who I have been mentoring, they have cracked NEET with more than 170 marks and some of them have even got 180 out of 180 NEET physics. And it's not like they were with me for three years or four years. No, some of them just one year, some of them just six to seven months and they have done it. So I feel even you can do it if you follow whatever I'm going to tell you. For that, make sure you stay tuned in the video till the end. And I hope you have smashed the like button and also the subscribe button. But you should know the facts that this is not going to be an easy task. Obviously, there will be a lot of hurdles. So you should be mentally prepared. You should be also willing to sacrifice some of the luxuries or the leisure time because we are targeting a really high score. Not just that, you have to be really patient about this. Do not expect that next mock test only I get 180 out of 180. No, you might take two months, you might take four months, you might take five months. You will slowly see you are going to inch closer and closer towards the full marks if you follow whatever I'm going to tell you. Not just that, you should not have the mindset that, uh, you know, I can skip this chapter or which chapter is important. No, never think like that. If you think like that, automatically you have started losing marks then and there itself. Because you don't know which chapter, which question might come from where. Yes, high weightage topics will give you maybe 120 marks, maybe 130 marks, maybe up to 150 marks that too, if you study a lot. But to get 180 out of 180, you cannot leave anything. Keep that in mind. And why should I even target 180 out of 180? Should I not be really happy with 150 out of 180? Still I might get a government medical college. Oh, I'm just a zero, sir. Just tell me the plan for 100 marks. No, 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 no. See, in physics, if you shoot an arrow targeting, you know, somewhere over here, we all know because of gravity, that arrow will not go over there. That arrow will go slightly down. So if you're targeting 150 low score, that arrow will go and fall in this valley. So it's always important that you target really high, aim really high. So even if something bad happens, at most you will maybe go to 170, maybe 160. Obviously, it's better than aiming at 150 and going to 100 or 120. So that's why aim higher. Even if you feel that you're not worthy of it. I am telling you, you are worth it. I hope you are really motivated by this and show me that by smashing the like button and also hitting the subscribe button. Now let's understand what are the qualities needed to really become good, become a master in need physics. The most important thing is, are you visualizing? Do you draw the diagrams? If there is a problem, do you write every piece of information on the diagram? What has to be found? Do you draw the situation before and afterwards? Like for example, for momentum conservation problems, right? Do you show all the forces? Do you show all the things that are required? That is what is needed. Else you'll miss out on many things. You have to start with the fundamentals. You have to go with the basics. Just memorizing a definition is of no use. If you just know Newton's laws, but you don't know how to apply them, it's of no use. And to know the application, always start with easy peasy lemon squeezy problems. Never directly jump into PYQ, J advance or some really difficult problem. That is of no use. You will reach there, but it will take time. But start with basics. Always when you learn swimming also, you learn swimming with a float. Then slowly you learn how to pedal and then you slowly remove that float and without taking any help, you slowly learn to swim. You don't dive into the swimming pool on day one. You have to write and practice. 
if you just read the solutions like a storybook or you are just like okay let me revise this particular chapter ha huh, okay this question okay okay ha huh, i know i know how to do it ha huh, okay 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 if you have that attitude no it's not going to help you at all you have to write 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 as many times as possible even if you repeat the problem that's okay guys you need to manipulate you need to think about different ways of solving the same problem sometimes your method sometimes teachers method sometimes the book method and you have to also go reverse like if there is a question given with some information and you have to find something then make sure that whatever has been found is given and then go exactly reverse to find the given things then maybe you change the question little bit you change the scenario little bit and then think what will happen so these kind of manipulations have to be done you have to play with the questions you have to spend quality time quantity is not important quality is important keep that in mind obviously your calculation speed and the basic math knowledge like your trigonometry algebra integration derivatives those things should be crystal clear you cannot say oh i have taken pcb i am not going to study maths what is this useless thing if you have that attitude no point because half of physics is basically you know uh, done with maths maths will help you achieve till the final answer physics will just give you the laws so you cannot cannot avoid calculations or maths keep that in mind at least the basic things and you should be very good with tables logarithm values or squares cubes cube roots all these things you should memorize and a good number of tables should be memorized or else your calculation speed will be affected keep that in mind also many students just look at the solution the moment a question comes ha you tried for 2 minutes ah, i didn't get it look at the solution ha ah, okay okay ha ah, i got it fine no <laughs> no don't do that some of them also use elimination tricks they use some cunning methods to solve the problem that's all all right but in the final exam not while you are doing it at home many you know uh, students just look at the answer behind and then they think reverse oh why is this answer ready okay okay like this that is not the correct method guys you have to remember that in the, in the examination hall nobody will give you the solution nobody will tell you the final answer nobody will give you marks for thinking how to get the answer no they will give you marks only for the final answer if it is correct correct wrong you get negative marks so you need to know how to approach so never look at solutions even if you find it hard look at maybe one or two lines of solution then from that hint you solve the rest of the problem still you don't understand look at the next two lines and then you go ahead never look at the complete solution that's very important and i always keep telling my students never ever you know solve many books just few books and in fact in those few books there will be one book which you will be mastering you have to know inside out of that book ncert is a must obviously but apart from ncert there will be one book which you will you know really really squeeze and extract as much information as possible you have to become a master you should know ah this question is there on this page or oh, this theory is there on that side that's what mastering is that's the level that you need to build my dear warriors now to actually inculcate these qualities and actually enhance these qualities you have to make a plan to revise many times each chapter 5 to 6 times at least each question at least you should have seen two times you have to make sure that you practice each and every variety of question ha huh, this is given this is asked i know how to do it or that is given this is asked i know how to do it each and every variety don't leave anything even if you feel that it is difficult do it once at least and then again come back to it second time after a few weeks or a month or so not just that you have to revise each and every formula and if you find that formulas are difficult or if you find that in the exam you suddenly you know blank out let me tell you the best way to remember formulas is by actual substitution and playing with the formula for example time of flight is uh, formula is 2 u sin theta by g okay u is given how to find time okay t is given how to find u okay time and u is given on a different planet how to find g so play around with the formula many times that will definitely wire all the connections in your brain for remembering those formulas 100% you have to cover all the chapters i have told this before also do not prioritize few chapters all chapters are equally important because then you lose marks 
if you leave something and you have to not only give part tests after every chapter or every unit after the syllabus is over at least 20 you can take it till 40 between this range that many number of full syllabus mock tests you will have to give that's where you will slowly start seeing the improvement in the first mock test don't expect full marks even if you get 80 marks it's okay slowly you will see 80 becomes 90 90 becomes 100 slowly slowly you will inch closer towards 180 but it is possible you don't have to have that negative mindset that you know oh no it's not possible no remove that outside your dictionary now the material that you will be using for all of this obviously the ncrt ncrt you have to master it if you have a good coaching material then use that book it will have pyqs it will have easy questions it will have some basic theory it will also have some good level questions everything but if you don't have that or if you are not convinced or satisfied with your coaching material then use pyqs by arihant and for more problem practice which you will have to master use ncrt fingertips or dc pande neat these books are must guys okay either this or this pyqs by aryanth and if you have coaching material and it solves all these purposes then you don't have to buy all these books this material itself will be sufficient and they will give you dpps assignments etc that should be enough you might be wondering sir if i don't have coaching material or i'm not satisfied with my coaching is it still possible to you know get a really good score i'll tell you that is possible and i'll tell you how in the next slide but before that let me also remind you that please do not do not forget that in the need exam the syllabus which has been deleted is also there that syllabus is only deleted maybe for or reduced for the board examination not for the need examination so don't ignore those topics just because in the new ncrt some topics are not there no don't ignore them because there will be questions from those reduced syllabus also please bear that in mind okay or else you will suddenly realize that oh my god i did not study this just few days before the exam now in order that you really achieve your targets if you want to learn under me you want to get my mentorship you want to get all the awesome avenger teachers be it wazim sir hsb sir for chemistry ambika ma'am for biology and me for physics you have the neat energized batch in english for all of you it has test series it has practice quizzes it has discussions it has mentorship it has doubt solving you have group discussions everything in this particular batch there is a revision also planned mock tests are also there so it's a basically one-stop solution you don't have to go anywhere and you know i know 100 percent that there will be many 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 not just ordinary doctors but extraordinary doctors from this particular batch this batch you can still join whatever backlogs are there you can still cover up and i'll tell you how to cover up them up in the strategies and the tip sessions there will be personal mentorship let me tell you that and if you want to join this batch there is a link which is there in the description box make sure you check that out and join the batch as soon as possible because the clock is ticking i want everybody to believe in yourself I want you guys to be not ordinary people. I want you to be extraordinary people. You have to target, aim so high that even if something goes wrong, you will probably miss the target by little bit, but you would have become an extraordinary student, extraordinary person by achieving that high score. So let me know in the comments that if you are ready to be extraordinary, let me know in the comments if you are ready to put in that 100% to become those extraordinary doctors. Thank you very much. This was Captain Stress. Do not forget to like and do not forget to subscribe and share this video with as many students, as many batchmates as possible. That's it from my side. Bye-bye. Take care.